Hello, I'm Chef Joe. Welcome to my kitchen. Today, I want to show you how to make coca bon. This is a classic French dish made popular in the United States by the late great Julia Child. Julia Child was such an awesome inspiration to many of us growing up. I feel it fitting that I raise a glass of wine and toast her for her culinary contribution to the culinary world. Here, cheers Julia. We love you and miss you. For this recipe, we're going to need one whole cut up chicken and I made a video to show you how to do that. You can, you can reference that. Uh, salt and pepper for, for seasoning. Four slices of fresh home cured bacon. You can get the bacon from the store or use pancetta. That would be perfectly fine. I also have the video for this bacon if you want to check out how to make your home cured bacon. Um, about eight ounces of cremini mushrooms. I like to use the creminis cut in half. I like the creminis because their texture and their flavor is a little better than the button mushrooms. I also have some uh, freshly blanched pearl onions. You could use frozen if you like. You know, you can find those at, at their grocery store, freezer section. But uh, I like to use the, the fresh ones and I'm gonna show you how to do that in just a minute. I have about one uh, small minced shallot. I have about three cloves of garlic minced. Two tablespoons of the uh, nice good tomato tomato paste. And I get this one in the tubes. I use the tubes so that you can put it back in the fridge. You don't have to worry about using that can. Uh, about three bay leaves, and I have a bouquet garni here of uh, I have fresh uh, Italian parsley, uh, some some thyme, fresh thyme, and I just do in a. a, a sprig of uh, fresh rosemary just for the heck of it. The, the original recipe doesn't really call for rosemary, but I like the flavor, so I'm throwing it in there. Then I have some multicolored carrots. You can use regular carrots. I cut them in you know, about one inch pieces, one inch chunks. I have a half of cup of uh, cognac, or about a quarter cup of cognac. I have one and a half cups of uh, Pinot Noir. Uh, you can use a burgundy if you want. Uh, but uh, Pinot Noir is fine. You can use any red wine, really, but I like to use a Pinot. And then uh, I have about one cup of chicken stock. I have about three tablespoons of Burr Manier just to tighten up the sauce if I need to. And I have some chopped parsley just for sprinkling on top. Okay. The first thing we're going to need for our Cocovin recipe are pearled onions. And I'm going to show you how to blanch those right now. Here's the little root end, and you want to slice this little root end off and discard this. Oh. Okay. Now back in here I have a pot of salted boiling water. So I'm going to take these that I've already cut the ends off and I'm going to put them in the in the water just like that let them boil wipe this out stir them about a bit let it come to a boil then you're going to have a nice bath so, you know, as soon as they, they blanch a little bit, as soon as the shells release, you're going to dump them in here.
probably about two minutes will do. So if you want to check one out, you can just take one, toss it in there, pull it off, and test to see if it pops out, which it does. And we are good to go. So let's turn this off. Take your pearl onions, put them in your ice bath. Here's the ice bath. Like that. Okay. Now, let's just reach in there and, they pop, and the skins pop right off. Oops, discard the skins. You can cut that little tip off too. You don't need that. See how the, they really easily pop out. And sometimes the outer skins are a little tougher, so that's okay if you, if you some of that, that outer shell comes out, that's fine. There you go. I'm going to complete the rest of these and then we'll be back to make our coke of it. I'm going to season up this chicken, both sides, with the salt and pepper. Not too much, just a little like that. And then we'll flip them over. I should have actually taken this glove off to begin with. There we go. I don't want to cross contaminate my pepper. Okay, so that's all seasoned up. Now we need to start sauteing our bacon. And what I'm going to do is pull this lid off of here. And I have my brazier. I'm going to turn my brazier on and get it hot. And then, when that gets hot, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil before I put the bacon in. I just picked this one up today. It's a uh, Ternero from uh, Lincoln, California. And it's 100% extra virgin olive oil. Throw a little bit in there to lube the pan up and then uh, uh, put, put my bacon in there. But this is really good olive oil. I just tasted it today for the first time. And I was like, wow, this is good. So you check them out. And, well, let's just... Go ahead, put it in the pan. A little bit, a couple tablespoons there. You're not, you don't need too much. And the bacon. Oh, I can hear the sizzle. Now once the bacon gets a little bit crispy and the, all the fat renders out of there, we're going to pull the bacon out and we're going to saute the, the chicken. We're going to brown the chicken in the bacon fat. That's going to be really, really good. One more for Julia and Jacques. Jacques Pepin. Love you too, man. Oh, that's good. A lot of people say, what kind of red wine should I use when I cook? When I with what I cook with and uh, a lot of people say well use what you're what you're going to drink with if I'm buying a hundred dollar bottle of silver oak that's not going in my sauce that's going in here I'm drinking that so what I like to do I also don't like to, to uh, if you open up a bottle of two buck chuck well you can use it for the wine that'll be fine for the sauce if you use the wine in the sauce but then you got to drink it 
So what I do, I go middle of the road, say 20 bucks. Uh, I have this La Crema here, it's really good. So uh, it's a very tasty wine. You can use it for your sauce and you can drink it too. So it's totally drinkable. That's how I roll with the, with the wine. That looks pretty good. I'm going to pull this out. Leave the bacon fat behind. Put this on this pan. Okay. Pan is still hot, so I'm going to grab my chicken and I'm going to brown the chicken off. And we're going to have to do this in batches. Okay, now in the same fat, we're going to saute some of the shallots. We're going to put in the carrots, garlic, stir that around a bit, tomato paste, stir that around, get that toasted. Turn this down a little bit. It's all going to get nice and toasted. I want to add the chicken back in here. Put your bacon in all the juices. I'm going to turn this off. Let me add the cognac. Maybe a dash more for a good flavor. So as that gets hot, we're going to ignite it. It's called flambe. Wait for the fire to go down. I'm going to turn it back on. We'll add my red wine. Throw those bay leaves in there. Get my bouquet garni and put it right in the middle.
Bring that up to a boil and we're going to cook that wine out a little bit. Get the alcohol out of there. Get the color from the juices. Can you see that? Can you see that? Wow. Okay, now I'm going to add my chicken stock. Okay, that's going to come to a boil. Now I'm going to cover it. I'm going to turn the heat down and I'm just going to let it slowly braise right there. Just like that. I'm going to move this brazier to the back burner. And while that, while the chicken is simmering, I'm going to fire up this pearl onions. I'm going to add a little bit of this Ternero olive oil. Maybe I'll put a dash more. Let me make sure it's nice and looped. We're going to get these good and caramelized and then we're going to set them aside and when the chicken's almost done, then we'll add to the uh, coca bean. You can serve this coca bean with uh, uh, rice pilaf, or you can serve it with noodles or pasta. I like to serve them with mashed potatoes. So that's what we'll be doing tonight. I use the mashed potato recipe that we have on the website, the basic mashed potatoes for this. You can add roasted garlic if you like, if you want to add a little variation to it. Add a little roasted garlic to your mashed potatoes, uh, different things. If you want to put pesto mashed potatoes, if you want to, whatever you want to do, you can flavor up your mashed potatoes, make them, make them your own. Put a little truffle oil in them. You put, Put a little truffle oil on your mashed potatoes. See, it's all starting to caramelize now. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper to them. Give it a little layer of flavor. I think I want to add a little bit of butter to these. Get some flavor. Flavor, flavor! You want to add a little bit more flavor? Got all, all that fond on the bottom of that? Watch this. Watch this. You just scrape all that flavor right off that pan. Now all that flavor is going to go into your coca vine. I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to switch them again. Turn that off. Now look at this. That's still rolling nicely. Oh my god, it smells wonderful. We'll just let her go. Let her rip right there. And we'll come back in probably in about half an hour and we'll finish it off. We're going to check this chicken now, see if it's ready. Oh yeah, this chicken looks, this is done. This is totally done. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to remove the chicken pieces to this platter. Take out the bouquet garni right now. 
see that little piece fell right off. We have all this beautiful broth in here right now. We're going to thicken that up just a little bit. So I'm going to turn it up. And we're going to add a little bit of our burr mayonnaise, which basically is just a uh, is an uncooked roux. We're going to put this in. We're going to tighten it up a little bit. Probably all of it. Okay. That looks pretty good. You want it the consistency of sauce. You don't want it to be a gravy. You don't, so you don't want it like real thick. Now I'm going to add these mushrooms and onions to it. Stir that in. Bring that to a boil, let that roux cook out, or not the roux, but the burr mayonnaise. Let the burr mayonnaise cook out of there. Well, let's give this a little taste. Mmm, I think that's tasting pretty darn good. Now, we're going to put the chicken back into it, let it simmer for a little bit longer. One more piece will fit in there. That's pretty close. I'm not going to put the bouquet garni in there. It's already it's already flavored the sauce, so we don't need it. I'm going to put the lid back on it. Let it go for a little longer while I make my mashed potatoes. And here we have our finished product, our kokovon. Nice and saucy, look at this. Nice and succulent, almost falling off the bone. They used to use, back in the day, back in the, on the farm, they used to use old roosters, that's why they call it coca vong, where they get coke from, it means cock or, or uh, rooster, because those would be like the tougher birds. And, uh, but today's chickens, you really don't need to cook them as much, so they, they really fall off the bone like really fast. Let me plate one up for you real quick. Let me show you how I plate it. Let me get the... and the mashed potato. I like to serve it with mashed potatoes. And I take a nice healthy scoop of mash. Put it like this. And then, let's see, we'll get a nice piece of, oh, let's get a leg. It'd be nice with the leg sticking up. I'll take a leg, and we'll stick a leg up like that. Then what else are we gonna get? How about how about a nice chicken breast to go right next to it? We'll go like this. Okay. Now let's get some of those vegetables. Get some of these. Okay, now we're going to take some of the sauce and just kind of ladle the sauce all over the whole thing. Look at that. All over the potatoes. Then we'll throw a little parsley on top. Let's put this in the center here. Throw a little parsley on top. There you have it. Coca Vaughn with uh, chicken, mashed potatoes, pearl onions. Oh my gosh. Look at this chicken. Look. Get the 
nice chicken sauce this is amazing and I hope you try this dish you know give it a shot you never know until you try hope you've enjoyed watching this video please remember to click the subscribe button and visit my website at www.chefjoeskitchen.org for more videos and recipes remember Food tastes best when it's simple and fresh and with wine. Cheers.